Welcome to episode seven of the Blue Collar Coder Introduction to React series. I'm Jack Harrington, at Jahur on Twitter. So we've learned all kinds of stuff so far. We've learned about JSX. We've learned how to handle events. We've learned how to do asynchronous work. We've learned how to store state. That's pretty much the main bucket of information you need to know to be a really good React coder. But in the real world, there's a couple of extra things that you're gonna need to know in almost any app. And one of those is CSS in JS. Up until now, we've been doing either a style property on a tag or even hack it on that CSS file. In the real world, most applications use some flavor of CSS in JavaScript or CSS in JS. In this one, we're gonna use Emotion. So without further ado, let's jump into learning Emotion. So the, the framework that we're gonna use for our CSS and JS is Emotion, which is a very popular CSS and JS framework. And the variant we want is Emotion Styled. So I'm gonna scroll down to Emotion Styled. And this is the install command to install it. So we'll go over to our VS Code, paste it into the terminal and run it. And now let's restart again. Okay, it looks good. So now I'm gonna import styled from emotion styled. And let's see, what do we wanna do? Let's start off with something simple. Let's start off with the Pokemon search title. So I'm gonna define title as style.h1 and then give it a template and in that template is gonna be the CSS. So we'll go over to the app.css, grab out the CSS, and drop it in there. And now we've effectively got this title tag. It, is, it has an H1, but that H1 has this CSS. So let's go use that. And we'll replace the H1 with that title. Nice and clean, right? And now we can remove that title from the app CSS. So let's replace the two column layout in this div with a two column layout tag. And this will show you how to convert React style CSS back into regular CSS. So again, I'll create a constant. This time it's two column layout, a style div, and then I'll just paste in the React CSS and then I'll fix that up by removing any quotes, changing the camel case back to having dashes again, and adding semicolons where appropriate. Now that we've got our two column layout, we can go use it by replacing that div. And stuff just gets a bit more clean, I gotta say. It looks much better. And let's see if it's actually working by making some changes. We'll change it to 3070. Yep, looks bad, but at least we can see that the changes are made. So now let's change out the container for the whole page. So I'll copy the style property values and then create a container as a style div. In this case, with that 800, we actually had to specify that we wanted that 800 pixels. So now let's go and change out that div. And that becomes a nice clean layout. So the last one I wanted to do was the input. So let's go and grab the input definition from the app.css file. And then delete it. Now I'll create an input, capital I input. And now we'll create a capital I input. 
as a styled input. Paste in its CSS. And we can use it just by replacing lowercase input with uppercase input. By convention in React, any component should be uppercased. Okay, that was pretty fun. So we've learned how to use emotion in our app and it looks a lot tidier, right? You gotta say, it's pretty slick. Of course, if you have any questions or comments about this video, be sure to put those in the comment section down below. If you go into the description, you'll find a link to the Blue Collar Coder newsletter and you'll get access if you sign up a day earlier than everyone else to these videos, which is great. You'll also get JavaScript, tips and tricks, and links to cool articles that you might wanna read. Feel free to like and share this video, share the love out with everybody else. And of course, if you wanna subscribe, be sure to click on that subscribe button and ring that bell. In the meantime, be happy, be healthy, and be safe.